Hello folks, and welcome to the first episode of Infectinator 3 Apocalypse. So this is a little casual game that came out on uh, GOG not too long ago. It could be on Steam as well, I haven't actually checked as of the time that I'm recording this, but I know this is a game that there was a mobile version of like the first Infect Infectinator game. And I did play that a long time ago. I haven't played it on the channel or anything, I just played it in passing. But uh, yeah, uh, from the little bit I've played of this game, I'm actually relatively satisfied from what I've seen. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to start on a new game. Let's see, I don't need the tutorial. I have a general sense of what's going on and uh, I'll try and lead you through. Alright, so these are the little things that can uh, be used to boost up your zombies, uh, but we won't have any of those just yet because, you know, we're not even at level 2 yet, so, <laughs> oh well. I think you get levels uh, from completing the game, so I think I've only completed it once so far, maybe twice, uh, but let's get started. Alright. So, your goal is to in infect people, turn them into zombies, and destroy the world. Let's destroy every city and wipe out humanity. Now choose a continent, start spreading your virus. So since I'm doing this during my vacation, I'll start off in a location that I'd kind of like to take a vacation at. In uh, Europe here, we get a free grabber zombie. Uh, I wanted to start down in Italy, because that's really where I really wanted to do it, so I guess we'll start here in, like, France. Okay, it's calling that London. I guess that's sort of London there, kind of. I guess this is considered, like, Greenland or Denmark there. I don't know. I, I don't give much thought to there. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot. So each time you go back and forth... You get a different city that it chooses, so in this case it's France, so we'll start in uh, Paris, France. So our goals right now are to kill 10 humans, gather 150 coins, and spawn 5 zombies. Uh, let's see... Oh, I guess we're not really starting with anything. And eh, we're going to Dublin now. Ireland. Uh -huh. Click to start. Okay, so we start with this little infection thing. As soon as we start that, then the whole thing begins. So this infection sends out in a horizontal and vertical wave. So you kind of want to aim it just right to get as many people as you can. There we go. Got a few. And we'll spawn some zombies here. Uh, this sort of works a little bit using the, uh... Ah, uh, my zombies! Also, when coins drop, you generally want to go and pick them up. Unfortunately, my zombies here aren't exactly... They weren't perfect. So, we didn't do as well as we could have hoped for. Oh yeah, this is one of the reporter guys. I went with the uh, <laughs> guy in the little bathrobe. Alright, so each time you attack, uh, the panic level goes up by in various ways. So, in this case, because we didn't take out everyone, the panic level went up by one point. Uh, sometimes if you take out everyone, the panic level won't go up. But if your infection gets to a next level, it'll cause panic to go up, so... But we completed a couple objectives here. Got some coin. And we'll be able to use that coin to boost up a couple things on our zombies. So we'll do lifespan and speed. We'll do attack as well. Uh, infection chance isn't bad. And let's do one more of speed. Although now that I realize it, I kind of failed. I should have gotten some support items as well there. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully this time we'll take him out. Go, little zombie, go! Almost, almost. 
There's one person left and he has a machine gun of some kind. Oh, he got me. <laughs> so yeah, Infectinator is a fun little casual game that I figured I would do on my little vacation. Um, okay, so we didn't kill everyone. That sent a panic in. We went to the second infection level though, and that sent a panic as well. And <laughs> someone got a little bite mark, escape patient in Europe. There's nothing to worry about yet. <laughs> now each time panic level goes up in an area, it also causes world panic to go up. So you gotta be careful about that because as that gradually increases, um, everything else kinda gets bad, so. Now, support items here are actually pretty useful for spreading the virus and that sort of thing. One thing I'll note about support items is the more you buy, the more expensive it gets. So, I generally stick around with just one support item and then just get a whole bunch. Or at least enough to fill all four support item slots. Alright, uh, we'll do mutation chance, because for the moment we still probably don't have too much in the way of people uh, causing issues for us. Now uh, we got another thing in the lab. Oh yeah, DNA upgrade. So right now we only have the death grip, which is from the grabber zombies. So we have horde mentality, coin grabber, or tough jaw. I think we're going to go with coin grabber, because that gives us the zombies that are... Uh, Get us a lot more coin, so. Alright, let's go for Madrid next. Kill five humans. Should be definitely easy enough. Well, let's see if we can do a few more. Okay, that was horrible. All right, well, we wiped them all out in this one. That wasn't bad, then. So the panic level will go up by one because of the infection has gone up. Oh, and uh, because we did a perfect little thing, we get a little body bag to open up, which has some coins and a grabber zombie. Humans are more wary. TV and radio warn civilians to be aware and prepared for crimes in their neighborhood. And the OWH watch list starts researching on the virus. Uh, so where are they going to be researching is going to be an important little thing that we have to figure out. Oh, they're starting research all the way down in South America. So I think we're going to, even though I want to take out this whole area, we're going to spread down to South America because we want to wipe out all of this down here so that they can, uh, so that we stop their research. So we'll next hit uh, Cairo, which will allow us to spread. All right, good place to hit them there. Put that down. Alright, that wasn't too bad then. Now, only one panic level in this area, which, uh, won't increase the panic for the whole world, which is good. Alright, so these are our regular zombies. Uh, you'll notice that once we get up to 8, we can level them up, which increases some of their various attributes. Uh, and then we have various special zombies as well. So we'll add a chubby the coin grabber, and then we have the regular grabbers as well. Oh, 
All right, let's head for this area, Acra. So we want to craft two zombies. Well, that'll be eventually. Kill three humans with a grenade, we can do that. And spawn a chubby zombie, we can do that. Uh, let's try there. Three humans. Got that. And then a chubby zombie. Expletive curse word. <laughs> Alright, we'll put that one there. Maybe to get this guy. There's that guy. Ugh. Why? Come on, you can reach him. There we go. I'm trying not to waste all of my zombies here because eventually you can turn the zombies, the regular zombies, to craft new zombies. So. And when are we going to get new DNA? One more level, and we'll get some more DNA. What's this mummification? Increases a zombie lifespan by optimizing their metabolism. Okay. Yeah, there's a whole string of different uh, zombie things that you can get, which... Uh, and eventually, some of these you can actually further upgrade, which gives even more bonuses. Like, probably this mummification and tough jaw. Once you buy them, you can actually upgrade those DNA segments or whatever. Alright, so it wants us to craft a couple zombies. We'll craft a chubby zombie, and that's about all we can do. We'll craft two chubby zombies, I guess. Let's start against their uh, efforts in Sao Paulo here. So we gotta use one grenade, kill 15 humans, and spawn five zombies. So we'll spawn that. We'll spawn this one. Spawn the coin grabber. Spawn a regular grabber. And spawn a regular zombie. Oh, and I gotta use a grenade, I think. I think I only had to use a grenade. I don't think I had to kill three humans on this one. So. Now, you'll notice this area is a little different. So, even though we wiped them all out, we only actually got two levels of infection and didn't actually bring us into another. So, we'll have to do this mission again to uh, further the infection in this area. Alright, so we gotta level up a zombie, spawn 15 zombies, and kill 30 humans. Now the good thing is that this kill 30 humans and spawn 15 zombies, you can do that through the course of a couple different missions. You don't have to do it all in one mission, so. Alright, I think we'll do the mummification to increase zombie lifespan. burger there to infect some people. And that was relatively easy. Alright, 
right, so we'll go back to our support items, unlock that. Now, it says that I can, or one of my goals is to upgrade a zombie, so. I think I'll upgrade this brute, because the brutes are actually pretty useful as far as zombies go. Especially some of their later levels, when they move really quick. Like, there's a military zombie that blows up when it dies, and then it, like, is really quick and attacks. It's, it's a really nice zombie. Alright, so we're going to try and focus on this area here um, to spread our corruption, our uh, zombiness. Alright, let's see. Let's put a burger like right there. Then we'll infect those ones. We've almost got him. Oh, I don't think we're quite gonna get all of them here, though. Yeah, we're gonna be a little short, I think, on taking these guys out. Especially because our chubby zombies are slow. Yeah, that's about all we're going to be able to do here. I mean, we made a decent amount of money. A thousand gold. It's going to send two levels of panic, though, I think, so... Oh no, more levels. Oh, okay, no, it was two levels, okay. Uh, so police are deployed globally. Police are a first level of attacker human that will go up against you. So we got three, kill three humans using a landmine, craft three zombies, and spawn one grabber. So we'll unlock the landmine by that. Oh, uh, I don't really like that canister because it doesn't seem like it works so well. I generally like the goo, the grenade, and the burger. Alright, we're gonna buy another grenade there and I think that will be good. Oh, let's take a look at our special zombies here. Uh, the bad thing is I used up pretty much all my zombies there. So maybe I'll spread into another area around here. Come on, zombies. So I earned 250 coins from the mission itself, but I got, what, 250, 350 from that, so that's not too bad. for a good place. That might work. Yeah. 
There's the three people killed with a landmine. <laughs> and that is it for the humans. I figure take advantage of these couple areas that I can get perfects in without causing further panic. Need a nice spot. Oh, that didn't work so well. Come on, one more little girl. All right, there we go. Now your overall goal when you're doing this is you don't want panic to get too far up. As panic gets up, eventually there's SWAT teams that are deployed that have like far greater weapons. All right, do I want to upgrade my regular zombies? I'm thinking about it, but at the same time, I mean, more brutes might be a good thing as well. The chubby zombies, eh, I'm not a big fan. Just because they're so slow. Come on, one more little person there. Good job, zombies. Good job. Alright, next goal is to kill 20 humans in one map, gather 350 coins, and spawn 25 zombies. Alright, so we'll put the coin grabber there, because they can help us out with getting coins. think I need more damage resistance just yet. Okay. Oh, Pablo Escargo is one of the uh, people that we can fight as we get our infection up. Because each, uh, each continent has a different sort of boss that you can fight. And eventually, uh, I think when you fight and win against them, you get a unique zombie. I don't know. I haven't actually fought one of the bosses yet. All right. Brasilia. Let's see if we can do this. Mm, let's try it there. Created a nice little wave of zombies. up there. Come on guys, you're almost there. No. 
We got that one, and we'll just blow up that one. There we go. Now we got them all. All right, this time, unfortunately, we're gonna get, oh, two from the infection going up to this third level, and then one just automatically, even though we've wiped out the whole area, it still causes uh, one bit of panic there. I got a hell of a lot of grabber zombies there. So we gotta kill five humans using the canister. Uh, that's the one that I don't like to use, right? Yeah. All right, uh, I guess we'll do lifespan. And let's do mutation chance. All right, we're gonna try and get this again. Now in this next level, you'll notice there's a hell of a lot of humans now. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. there. Oh, I didn't want to spawn that one there. Regular zombie, you get posted there. So you can get that little nurse. Is she the last one? She was the last one. All right, nice. We got a perfect on this big area. It was expensive, but hopefully we'll get some good uh, goodies from this. Of course, this adds two to the panic just even after getting a perfect. Police recruitment in South America. Additional police are guarding the area. And world panic goes up. Zombie outbreak confirmed. Civilians are now aware of the zombies. Ooh, but we finally got uh, one of the uber zombies called Jason. <laughs> Obviously a uh, play on uh, Freddy, or no, well, not Freddy Krueger, but there, because there is a Freddy Krueger zombie that you later get. But yeah, we'll add him to our selection here. Uh, good thing about him, he gives a little buff to uh, some of the zombies that are around him. Yeah, nearby zombies become stronger. Since we're working in big areas, I think we'll use that canister. Because that canister did seem to work pretty well. And we'll increase damage resistance a couple. Since we're now dealing with more police around here. Uh, but I'm, we're going to try and take out this whole area, hopefully. Find a nice area that they all gather together. We'll try there. Uh, 
I think we're gonna miss it on this one. We're gonna be just a little short from taking them on, on all out. Yeah, those coin grabbers don't really do much as far as taking out people, which is very disappointing. So we got 905 coins. Eh, unfortunately, it's going to add a hell of a lot of panic to this area. Unexplained riots. A series of random riots occurred in the city. Riot police deployed in affected cities. Riot police are pretty much a... Uh, hardier version of the regular police. Alright, we're gonna go with three of those this time. That, 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 and let's increase lifespan. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Looking for a nice little gathering of people. Oh, that didn't work so well. It does kind of suck that these civilians do run kind of quickly. Come on, take out that little civilian there. Just gonna be a little short of a perfect. Darn you, zombies. Darn you all. <laughs> so, we are at least going to the next infection level. Uh, problem is this gonna cause complete like riots and you'll notice that it goes the size goes from large to death store which means that one more hit will take out this area mass hysteria star now deployed which I think are like the uh, SWAT team but they're just called star new research labs established oh some bitch ooh my support items are now kind of low that's not good. So there's new research labs over here. Well, let's expand the infection around here, or should I just go and completely wipe out this area? The main objective is to kill them all. Population density 60. Uh, the thing is, I don't exactly have enough zombies to necessarily do that very well here. Oh, my DNA's gone up. Alright. Uh, horde mentality? I think we'll do that. Yes. So we got biker zombies. Those are like tough ones that have a couple smaller zombies with them. I do generally like the biker zombies. All 
right. We'll buy another of those. Um, should I buy another goo? Maybe I'll do that. Let's hit this area here first, I think, though. Come on, Jason Zombie. Oh. Take out the little nurse. Excellent, excellent. And that is it for the humans. Hopefully I didn't spend too much on all of this. Infection chance. Okay, so we're gonna wait until we get into another day, since that should give us more zombies. Oh, we already went into the other day. Okay. So we're gonna try and take out Brasilia here. Hopefully it works out. Start with the canister, I think. Come on, you're almost there. Oh, we're gonna be short. Darn it. Well, fudge. Yeah, three more people, really. Because the zombies are dumb and they wander all over. Well, how much... Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five. Panic. Well, what does that do now? Style will come as backup. Oh, lovely. Well, now we got uh, the Freddy Krueger zombie. Alright, I'm gonna have to go all out here. I need three of those, we'll need two of those. We'll grab... you know what, we're gonna do, go, do the goo. And we'll grab a couple landmines, okay. We'll wait a day so that we can make more zombies. Did that actually take us into the day now? I need a full complement of biker zombies, I think. I know the research is going up on the cure, but hopefully, hopefully.
one more day. No, not yet. Okay, so we have some swarmers there. I think I'm gonna try and just attack another place for the moment. Hmm. No! Ah, uh, darn it. There we go. Ugh. Well, a couple biker zombies from that. Martial law in South America. The military has been deployed. Oh, lovely. We're deploying our Freddy Krueger zombie here. Okay, hopefully this is gonna work and we do take this area out. I can't believe it. <laughs> I messed that up. Okay, I'm gonna get this to work. <laughs> this is, should not be as troublesome as this is turning out. Hate that army fudge, and I failed it again. <laughs> what now? Military is deployed in the region now, and police with shotguns are on guard. I've made a lot of money. But I've also kind of wasted a little bit of money here. <gasps> oh, hell. Oh, geez. Look at all of this military here. Come on, I was spawning zombies there, really? Oh, 
Oh, this is like really. <laughs> oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Look at all of that military that they have there. Ah, oh, jeez. So I don't know if I'm not doing mandatory military service in South America. Arm all civilians with weapons. Okay. <laughs> so I might be completely messing this whole thing up now. It's very much looking like that. Well, we are able to go into the United States now at the very least. So let's do that for the moment. Oh, since we've kind of completely messed up South America. Now you'll notice, oh, for whatever reason, the little buff that uh, Freddy Krueger and uh, Jason were providing kind of didn't exactly last forever there. I don't know why, but... Alright, folks. Well, I think we're going to take that as an opportunity to end it here for today. Um, yeah, I might have to actually end up buffing up maybe, like, my bikers and that sort of thing. And my, probably my general zombies as well. So that I have some decent, like, tanky sort of creatures to deal with all of these people. Because, uh, yeah, they're, uh, proving to be troublesome. So... We'll uh, hopefully in the next episode be able to take on South America. Um, and yeah, let me know. Oh, breaking news. Weather cons consistent drizzle. Zombie infection chance increased temporarily. Interesting. All right, folks. Well, uh, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe and click on the little bell icon. to Stay notified for all my streams and uh, videos. And let me know in the comments what you think of this video. So we'll uh, check you all out later. See ya.